Right, so welcome to the rear of my Acer Aspire 8930G. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about um, applying thermal paste. So what happened in my situation was I started getting really high temperatures on my graphics unit. So I thought, hmm, last time I opened the computer, I must have knocked off some thermal paste. Thermal paste is a fluid which you put between the CPU or GPU and the cooler and this helps it to make contact and therefore means that the heat can move efficiently. So today I'm going to talk about how you uh, place them down on a laptop. So first of all, what you want to do is remove all the screws on the back of your laptop. It should be in a section like here, around there. Or for some laptops it's under the keyboard. So I'm going to quickly remove the screws. Okay, so uh, here's the inside of my laptop. It almost looks as good inside as it does outside. Okay, so now you want to, uh, first of all actually you need to ground yourself, just touch a metal object, not inside the laptop, this is just to ensure static energy doesn't damage the laptop, right, so I'll just touch my laptop stand, okay, now you want to identify where the fan leads to, so in this case my fan leads to here, and here, now you want to appropriately remove the screws so you can expose the chip, so I'm going to pause the video again so I can remove these screws over here. I just realized you also want to disconnect your fan. So your fan will be connected to your main board by a cable. Really do be careful here. You just want to put your finger in. And you want to get that cable up. But you don't want to break the cable obviously. So there you go. So as you can see now these two are exposed because I just removed this. I just completely took it out. Put it aside. One thing I do suggest is that you group everything in a sensible way. And maybe take a few photographs on the way so that you remember where everything goes because you know it can be complicated at times. I've done this multiple times, but you know, for a beginner, I know it can be quite hard. I made the mistake before. Right, so the first thing you want to do is get rid of the paste from both the cooler and the processor. So, first, I'm going to show you how you're going to get rid of it from the processor. So, first, what you want to do is get a credit card, or oh, because I'm in the festive season, well, I'm kind of missed it. I took an end of a Christmas card and uh, as they'll be quite sticky, you just want to try and remove it, some of it. This is just a... Right, so now what you want to do is, we finished the first stage of removing the paste, now you want to... This is something which, you know, this is where people start doing their own method. So what I'm going to do is, first get a normal kitchen towel and try and remove as much as I can without using any liquid. Then afterwards, you can start using a bit of 70% alcohol or rubbing alcohol, right? So what you want to do is you just take it simply and just rub off as much simple. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, turns out I've got a third chip of some sort, which I'm not sure what it actually is because I've got my CPU there, GPU there, I'm sure that's that because that's just Intel and that's just Nvidia. But this, I'm not sure, and it didn't come with any thermal compound on it. That's why it's really shiny. So I'm not going to actually apply any thermal compound to it, this is a note you should make, because I've seen other people who's got three, pro three um, chips, I'm not actually sure what this third one is. But it's quite a nice guidance to show how shiny the others should be after you finish cleaning it. Okay, so as you see it's actually quite shiny now, let me just tilt the laptop in the direction, it is quite shiny. I forgot to state the obvious, what you do not want to do is apply quite a lot of pressure, that's not good. And also try and avoid getting any thermal thermal compound in the green area. On my NVIDIA chip actually they put a protective seal which I suspect is because the Acer boss knows that his fellow robots can't actually apply thermal compound properly. They've done a mess of it to be honest. So this is when you actually start to apply the thermal compound. So I'm going to be using Arctic Silver 5. This is 99.9 .9 or 97 whatever. It's mainly made of silver, therefore it's quite a good thermal conductor. But you, what you want to be careful is this is also, therefore, quite a good electrical conductor as well. So like I say, you want to avoid the green bit. So simply remove the lid, just, there you go, you just twist it, there, the lid comes off. Right, this is the uh, bit which I find hard to do because, you know, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm not that good at specific things. What you want to do is you want to tiny amount you don't really want that much to be honest uh, I will give you a bit for guidance and you can kind of mimic how much I'm gonna put on so take your time be very gentle alright so I think the uh, last clip got cut off so basically 
I just applied a rice grain around that size of thermal compound onto the ones before which did have thermal compound. This one didn't so I didn't apply. This one I made a bit of a mess of. Okay, right, so now uh, let me just show you what I'm going to do. Right, so this is just my method. Sounds a bit weird, but you know, it is a trusted method. Put cling film around your finger and just spread it. Just spread it around the shiny bit. That's it. Do not try not to spread it on the edges. If you do, then, you know, we'll clean it up afterwards. So, you know, just spread it. Just spread it. Right, so now that you've applied it, you want to leave it to dry for a while. Uh, in the meanwhile, I suggest you uh, clean the piece of copper which you're laying on it. So you want that shiny as well. Just like you clean the thermal compound of the CPU, use the same, you know, kind of thing on this. Do it with a normal cushion towel. And if it becomes difficult, then use some sort of alcohol. Okay, so now I've left it to dry. Now all you need to do is just put everything back on in order. What you will notice is some components. Let me look for an example. I can't, don't seem to be able to see one at the current moment. Right, I can't find an example, but some uh, piece of copper will have numbers on them, like one or two. Put the screws in, in order. So if put screw one in first, then put screw two in. And just put everything back on now, and then put your laptop together, and hopefully you'll be enjoying some lower temps. So thanks for watching. If this did help you, please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe, because that's really the only way you can help me. If you do have any problems, you can tell me in the comments, or you can PM me. Thank you very much.